Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel, Exe Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. And uh, if you visit my channel, you have opportunity to learn everything about Corel Draw, Illustrator, and Photoshop. And if it's the first time of you watching my video on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more interesting video on Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to answer one of my online student questions that asks me about how we can mock up business card uh, after we have done with the design. So that is what I'm going to show you guys. So let me quickly go to the WhatsApp and uh, pick the question. All right, so let me check. Uh, should be in correct class group three, okay? All right, so this is the question. Then the the student asks me if there is possibility to do their their design uh, in this way. Let me quickly show you. No, what is wrong? Okay. So I'm still trying to look for the question. All right, so I'm trying to look at the question, but uh, I think the network here is very much uh, slow. So I find it difficult to to see the right question. And okay, okay. So this is the question here. So let me check. Um, all right so okay this is the question all right so actually this this, this design was made in uh, corel draw and uh, the student was asking if it is possible to present the business card in this way this thing is still loading I'm very much slow all right so it's loading okay fully loading so actually the business card was designed in corel draw but we later present it in this format in a mock-up, which means uh, we apply it in, uh, and we did it. We did this thing in Adobe Photoshop in the short. So now, how do we do this thing? That's what I'm going to explain one after the other. So first thing you need to consider the fact that you have done your design complete in your in Corel Draw or in Adobe Photoshop. So you need to export the design file in a jpeg so let me show you how it's going to look like when you export in jpeg okay so this is the jpeg file format of the design All right, so you need to have it in this way, in the JPEG file format. After you have done the design in uh, in Corel Draw or in Adobe Photoshop, so 
so next thing you have to do is to go online and uh, I'm going to create a new tab then there, here is the link of the mockup so I'm going to put this link in uh, in the description of this video or I send it to you guys on whatsapp so I will copy this link now this is the download link of the file then I press ctrl Z then I will come to the address bar I'll click here then I press paste to paste it and I press enter on my keyboard to load the file So in the meantime, the file is going to load, right? So Alright, so you can see on the screen here the file is fully loading and this is the mock-up we use to brand the business card after we have done the design in, in, in Corel Draw. You might do the design in Corel Draw in Photoshop or in Illustrator, but this is the file we're going to use for the for the presentation of in on the mock-up. So now after you open the file on the browser, then you click on this icon here we simply miss download but in this case i don't need to download it because i already have it on my on my system so the next thing i'm going to do is to show you guys how you can place your design on this kind of a thing before you upload it online so i will open my photoshop now now after you have download this is the file you're going to need so what you have to do is that you extract the file from the zip folder when you extract it from the zip folder, then you you run the Photoshop file. So having run the Photoshop file, you're going to present with this some, something like this. So you will have a two file. Let me zoom the camera to the to the layer panel. So you have something like this. This is uh this is going to be the background, and uh, this is the mock-up file. So this is the front and this is the back now this is the one we are going to use for for the mock-up now if i if i'm going to place the design on the the front one all you have to do is to double click on the layer thumbnail here So when you double click on the layer thumbnail it's going to open in another place so you're going to have it in this way now the next thing you have to do now is to go to file from the home tab here then click on place embedded So now you have to look for the JPEG file format of the business card. So I'm going to, so let's say this is my front, then I'll click on place. So now you are going to have something like this. Then shift key and alternative key on your keyboard then you stretch the size of the business card to full the space of the mock-up so you have something like this then from the home tab here you click on this check mark here to accept now having done that you are done with your placement the next thing to do is to come to the home tab here click on this close button icon 
so we click on the close button icon you're going to see something like this then click on yes All right, so let's say this is the front end. I'm done with that. Then I'll come back to my layer panel. I will select the back. Then we'll double click on the layer thumbnail again. So the same process, I'll go to File, I'll look for Place Embedded, then I will look for the second business card. Here we go, and I'll click on Place. Then I'll press shift key and alternative key on my keyboard and stretch. And I'll come here and click on this check mark to accept. Next, I'll come back to the home tab here. I'll click on this close button. Then I'll click on yes. good so we have done with the placement of our business card on a mock-up using adobe photoshop in this regard you need to have adobe photoshop minimum fashion of cs6 before you can do something like this or adobe photoshop cc before you can do something like this so having done all these things the next thing you have to do now is to go to your home tab here you go to file and look for export then save for web so this is simply means that you're going to have you're going to send this thing to internet or you want to send it to client so now if you are putting it on internet you need to consider file format for internet which has to do with png file format but if you are sending it to a client you need to consider the file format of jpeg file so let's see the preview of the business card here we go. Look at it. So here's the preview. Then if you are satisfied with the preview of the business card, you have to come here and check on the file format. So like I said earlier, if you are sending it to the client, you are good to go with JPEG file format. But if you are sending it on internet, you want to put it on your portfolio, you change the file format to PNG minus 24. Let's see the preview. Good. Then you come down below here and click on save. So a box is going to pump up like this. Then I'm going to save it in a desktop. You have to know your destination desktop. Then I'll call this business card
design then I'll click on save all right so let's take a look at it from our desktop good so you are good to go to upload this thing on internet or send it to the client this is how the magic is done design from corel draw mock-up in photoshop or design in adobe illustrator mock-up in photoshop or design in photoshop mock-up in photoshop it is only photoshop that can create mock-up like this so now if you enjoy this video and you are very new to the channel here is the channel let me bring out a channel link so here's the channel exact graphics and multimedia free tutorial on corel draw illustrator and photoshop monday to friday so if you would like to enjoy more tutorial from me like this please subscribe to this channel i have a lot of video ranging from uh, graphics design video making money on fiverr and likewise i'm trying to include some future content into this channel and if you would like to join our online training you can send me a message on uh, um, through my whatsapp or you drop the message in the comment section down below we will take a look at your message and give you the necessary procedure to follow in order to join our online training so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you learn relevant thing in this in this video see you soon bye